kwanza ni shukran at least kwa watu kutokea tournament ya mark <coughs> shughulikei shughuli ya mark most probably ni kuwa tuko na tournament leo kuchangia at least mambo ya mark na zile expenses ambazo ziko uh, kuna issue kama ya bill ya hosi ambayo ni almost 300,000 shillings kwa nataka kwa offset na sasa ile amount ambayo budget tuko nayo around 1.2 million so so far atuko vizuri zile so tunaomba watu wanaweza kuja on board kusaidia Tuko na Arambe pia on Wednesday from 5 in the evening kwa hotel la Social Hall na tunaomba watu wakuja tusaidie katika hiyo shughuli. Tutakuwa between 5 uh, until around 8 in the evening. So watu wakuja jitokeze. Bario na iko set for Saturday huko Busia. So body tatoka hapo on Friday asubuhi. He spend overnight on Friday alafu hiyo bari on Saturday. So we wish kila kitu tenda as per plan. Na familia bado naomba support ya watu wa shughuli. But most importantly leo tunaomba watu mtambaje afika hapa akuje grout ni sasa ile kidogo ambayo uko nayo. Hakuna kubwa, hakuna ndogo, 50 bob so, tao, tao mbili, tashukuru. Santeni sana. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Jojo Mondio Chieng. Mimi ni ndugu wa Mark. Eh, Nacheza Ulinzi Stars. But currently niko na injury so sijaweza kucheza. Eh, juzi last week tuliweza kupoteza my brother Marko Chieng. Eh, alikuwa mgonjwa kidogo, alikuwa na some few illness kidogo. Eh, alikuwa complain of headache last week but one so to come rush Karen hospital fika huko tuka have kufanya MRI so after MRI to come to Abu to come to Coptic hospital uh, from then ndio akaweza ku administer dapo Coptic hospital but uh, unfortunately last week uh, on 27 around 11:05 hours akaweza kusakamba because uh, alikuwa na clot kwa brain kidogo so the brain really is a affect kila kitu I can have some cerebral edema ndio akaweza kusakamba at uh, bottom line tunaweza kuomba the wishers wakuja tusaidie to finish the hospital bills na tuweze kufanya burial plans vizuri because tuna intend kumpeleka 6th this week on uh, on friday to travel to busia then to lay on 7th that will be on a saturday and uh, on wednesday tutakuwa na fundraising hapa mbotela mbotela estate uh, kwa social hall Atungependa sana well wishers wakuje watusaidie kumaliza hizo medical bills na vitu zote za burial. Tutashukuru sana kwa nyinyi kuja na tutashukuru tu tena sana. Okay, thank you. Uh, kwa majina anaitwa Abdalla Otieno ama coach Viduka vile watu wananijua. Uh, mimi ni senior coach uh, wa team kadhaa hapa Kenya. Nimecheza mpira for long na leo kidogo uh, niko na uzuni kidogo lakini pia nina furaha kwa sababu na celebrate eh, life ya kijana wangu kijana wangu Marco Diambo eh, Marco Diambo ametoka kwa mkono yangu na nashukuru amechezea KCB amechezea Tasca uh, amechezea Wazito na amecheza mpaka national team uh, ni unfortunate uh, kuwa Marco amepumzika uh, na kwa familia kwanza nataka kutuma uh, risala zangu za pole na niwaambie tu eh, take heart Mwenyezi Mungu atawaja atawapatia atawa, atawa nguvu na atawaelekeza atawa, atawa kila mahali yeye ndo alikuwa mzee wa boma lakini mama sasa ningependa uchukue usukani na uangalie watoto wao watatu wamebaki na kama kuna chochote sisi ni familia sisi ni familia ya mpira na tunapendana wote Uh, kwa majina naitwa Fredo Redo. Ah uh, mimi ni msewa Mbote. Udhoni nimezaliwa Ziwa, nimelelewa Ziwa. Na leo nimekuja kwa issue gulia Mark. Mark nimejua naye kuanzia kitambo sana. Ah uh, as, as venye nimekuwa nikikaa hapa Mbote, tumeza ball na Mark mchezo kamaliza wazee, kimekamaliza. 
Kitu moja ni kwa napendia mark ni moja, kwa nambia oredo. Angalia venye dance zako ziko. Mina kwa kiagaga long ball, of which na mizizo long ball za mark mbaya sana. Anambia anajua kwa shua beta, kiniwekea tu mikutana na kufunga bao. So yu mazeju na miss mark mbaya sana. Jama roo safi, yani ule ni mwanaume, ni dura roo safi kabisa jama. So tumbeluzi mse moja jo, atura japata tena kwa hii area yetu. So guys, mea mina hope sana jama ni tuwapatia strength, manze tuna pray to God, awapatia strength at this time jama. Finances jama tukamini through, tujari kumsaidia, tutaide familia na wale watu ipia wamebaki, kutawa macha watu iwachanga sana. So, yu familia ni nina need help yetu sana. Na kwa judges and the familia, manze judges, take the mantle, judges as mina kujua, you are somebody who is humble, na najuna pray God sana jo, I could see through in, that, in, in this situation. Everything, we just thank God in everything. Thanks. Kumajina naituwa Clifford Chino. Mark ni umjua through friendlies. Ajakua team moja as such. Pata mekua opponent wangu kwa ma friendlies mingi kwa hizi team za waze waze. Nimejua hapu kubuani, sija mjua mbali kita sana. But out of that, tumekua friends, tumekua tukiongea ongea. Hapa na pale, so yukifa yake imekua uzuni kuangu. Na e, kwa familia na marafiki zake wa karibu na sema pole na tumapole zangu kabisa e, Na omba wawe mungu awe nao, awe, na, awe nao kwa huu wakati wa huu msiba Sina jambo lingine Na kwa majina mini ituwa Divi Batu jine angu ya mtaji na kibolo watu na njua kaa Toronto A, Mini mdau fanua bolo kutoka kitambo Mark ni mjua for long sana, akicheza competitive football. Uh, uh, time yake ya mwisho, tumikuwa tuchiza na ebo luko umo, Monday night football. Nicheza Jim Deadly sana, jama mhado working, anapenda ball. Na pia mikuwa jama mraf sana. Uh, Mark mali huko, tunabilive, ako in a safe place. Uh, tuna thank God for his journey, his life with us. And everything in this life happens with a purpose. His soul rest in peace. Mark was a good person. We are here to celebrate him. We are here to play football on his behalf and to enjoy as the people he has left behind. Kwa majina na itua Fode. Mark amekwa teammate wangu for so long. Tukiwa kwa youth team. Tukiwa NSL. Madara youth. Katoka Madara Youth, katoka kienda Tasca, katoka kienda Tasca, tuka patana na e tena KCB team moja, tuka piga nyaka kama tatu, ine, baada hapo, tuka pata injari, baada tuka pata injari, kidogo tuka ingia kwa shuli ya matatu, ingia kwa shuli ya matatu, still tuliko nga mabeshte, tuliko tuna nanga daily, nasikia. So, kupasikuwa ke, ili tuishtua sana kama mabeshte. Na hata, hii time ya msiba, tunastana na familia yake. Tunawambu wazidi kuwa strong, kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Tunajua yezi kuwa sawa hivyo araka, but kila kitu itakuwa sawa. But hiyo tiyo njia yetu sisi wote. Nya hayo tukwa sawa hivyo. But tukiwana mark, pia still team moja, alikuwa ni jama mungwana. Mimi nikiwana hee pale KCB na youth team, alikuwa kama captain wangu. Nya hayo tukwa. Naituwa Katono Duor, zindo jina yangu. Mini retired referee wa Kenya Premier League. Na Mark ni mjua kwa muda mrefu sana. Tangwa kichezi ya Madhare Youth. Ni mjua mara kwanza kichezi ya Madhare Youth. Nika kuja ni kamuona kichezi ya Tasca, kichezi ya KCB, Wazito. Hizo zote tumekua in line na ee. He was a very energetic man. Na kifo yake li tushitua sana. Because the last time ni mwona, alikuwa na gari ya tours, na hiyo gari ya tours, nikajua ametoka kwa bol, amenja kwa tours. So that is very lucrative, lakini sasa bati mbaya ndio hiyo ametuwacha. Kwa majina na ituwa Weekly for Uma, natoka pale kwa Uma. Mamu tumejua na for a long time since ya kwa KCB. 
kuwe wazito mjuana sana wakati alitoka kwa ball hata mimi ndio nilimuingiza kwa transport industry tukafanya fanya naye hapo job mimi nikafungukiwa na mambo yangu nikawaacha mambo ya transport nikaingia kwa coaching so alikuwa ni mtu ananisaidia sana mambo ya bola alikuwa mtu wako very familiar na mambo ya bola saa pande ya coaching amenisaidia sana eh but mambo yake follow fasade nika happen ame take leave briefly sana eh na alikuwa jamaa watu so si tuko hapa tuna support initiative yake tumzikishe tu home poa eh Okay, kwa majina naitwa Raymond Onyango. Mimi ni refari wa Kenya Premier League. Eh, ngependa Mark uh, Mark ni mjua akicheza ball, kucheza Madara Youth, nimemchezesha akicheza KCB. So ni basically ni best yangu. Na ningependa kutumara mbili zangu kwa familia, brother yake, pole kwa familia na tuko pamoja. Kwa majina ni Sejo ama Joseph Joseph Mongela. Mimi ni jirani wa Mark Mark nimemjua kwa mpira, nimefollow akicheza Premier, nimemwona akicheza hizi tona za mtaa. Nilicheza na yeye alikuwa teammate kwa timu nyingine ya mtaa ilikuwa itoa ya Best. So Mark mimi nimemjua basically kwa mpira, lakini pia nimemjua kwa barabara, akiwa kwa Oma, akiwa Umo. One thing alikuwa anafanyaga ni mtoto akikupata kwa barabara, ilikuwa lazima kupigioni, unaenda hivi akubebe. Mark ilikuwa gata kama una doa hizi kushikisha kwa gari. So hiyo time kidogo yenye nimemjua, nashukuru, tumwambia familia, wako na subra kwa hiyo wakati mgumu, sana sana wife community tuangalie vile tutaweza kusaidia watu hii waheshimiwa pia watu wote wanajua mark tuangalie vile tutaweza kusaidia watu hii kwa sababu kitu ya maana ni watu hii wasome juu mark ni mtu alikuwa anatafuta ni mtu alikuwa na bidii so Mungu ala zero yake pema peponi mimi kwa majina ya kamili naitwa Vitali Zopio ni jina nimejulikana nao hapo Mbotela ni SCN hiyo ni jina yangu ya ball mark nimejua kitambo juu mara mingi tumecheza naye kamaliza mimi nimekuwa captain wa Kamaliza for long. Mark tulikuwa nao pamoja. Mara nyingi tulikuwa tunacheza 5, yeye yeah, anacheza 4. Hata watu wengi sana walikuwa na tulikuwa ni kama tuko twins. Juu hata nimeona hata ikifu ya Mark hata watu maybe watu wa, kuna wengine wameje walikuwa na hey, walikuwa nauliza ni wewe sie ama ni wewe Mark. Na nikasema hapana ama live ni Mark tu ndiye amekufa. Juu tulikuwa kama friends, my best tulikuwa ni kama twins. Mimi nilikuwa namuita Twins Brother, yeye alikuwa ananiita Telo. Anyway, kifo cha Mark ilikuwa ni surprise kwetu. But kitu naweza kumwambia familia wakae tu na moyo. Hii ni kitu iko. God everything kuna purpose. Tunakuwa tuko naye pamoja in prayers, in financial tuko pamoja. But God amechukua mtu so important. Kifo imechukua mtu so important kwa life yetu. Lakini life has to move on hiyo ndiyo kitu naweza sema. Eh majina ni Twakene Tokubasu Malova. Eh. Mi Mark nimemjua tumeanza kusoma ne class 1 mpaka class 4 aka transfer. Anda kuanzia anda 10 tuko team moja tunaanza bond na eh. Hadi bila nini aka move on tukacheza ne kamaliza nikakuwa kipa wake. Ndio aka move on akachese. Bila limo nini mimi nikasare ball kidogo yake endelea. Akaenda success yake pengo na furaha sababu kwa sababu tena ball za wazee ama tone kwa mta tazana na mtambo kama mchezaji mchezaji wangu kama defender wangu eh kutumetuvetu na kuchangamsha grau za game na mimi sana hata kama ndio chabol kama yanaendelea lakini na mimi sababu niko na kuja hata kuona grau na bwana sasa naomba familia yake pole na Mungu akuwe nao kwa mimi naitwa Hashim Kamau ni MC wa kule California Ward leo tumekuja kujumuika na marafiki wale watu wote tushacheza mpira na marehemu at least kumkumbuka na pia ku raise eh, zile pesa zinahitajika habari ya hospitali habari ya mazishi so kama rafiki na alikuwa rafiki wetu mkubwa tumecheza naye ball kila siku kila sande kila wapi na ni ndugu yetu lazima tushirikane pamoja otherwise mimi nafurahia unit ile ya uh, watu wote wamekuja timu zote kutoka kila mbali nafurahia hiyo unit na ile umoja uh, wachezaji wamekuwa wako nayo na urafiki na yeye kufika kwake huku nimekuwa ni show nzuri number 1 number 2 Uh, at least ni motisha pia mpate waheshimiwa wenzake pia at least waweze kufika hapa kujumuika because hii event sasa tunaisha saizi ni paka jioni na most importantly ni kuwa hii ramba ambayo iko Wednesday kawa anaweza kuja tusaidie tutashukuru sana so yangu kukonga ni kuhimiza tu waheshimu 
na wenzake at least waweze wakuja wasaidie familia kwaweza kurezizo hiyo bill yenye ni bill kubwa na ni ndogo kubwa maana yake wasipotokea itakuwa ni ngumu kwa familia lakini wakikuja itakuwa rahisi so budget vile ni kuelezea mbeleni ni 1.2 million so vile tutafika hiyo 1.2 million ni through help ya waheshimiwa kama waheshimiwa na wenzake so, mimi naitwa Vincent Ochuodo captain wa cha wazee football so tumekuja kusanyika hapa kwa sababu ya mwenzetu ambaye ameaga ambaye ni Mark ni mchezaji wetu hata timu yetu Intercont ametuchezea so tumejumuika pamoja tunaomboleza na familia na kuwa tu pamoja na kuwatakia Mungu awapatie rehema na awapatie roho kwa sababu kupoteza mtu uh, na mshupavu kama ye ni pigo kubwa na sio kwa familia lakini kwa jamii yote ya football so vile uh, inter Kasim Nasa coach Absa Waze purpose ya leo ni kuja kuungana na wenzetu kwa msiba tulipata kuhusu kijana Mark with been a very good boy the society unfortunately Mwenyezi Mungu aulize nini swali so I miss to jebu kwa pamoja na familia tuweje to make sure at least mazishi yake iko sawa now that and that nikijaribu kumotivate pia vijana ile umoja tuko nayo ile kizee they we emulate they it end up emulating us ile purpose yetu on that we hope for a small tournament like this we are successful to achieve the main agenda which is the barrier okay nashukuru sana kufika mali hapa siku leo mimi naitwa Steven Ochen Balozi eh mark tumejuana na eh tukicheza ball na kumat Eh, tunatuma risala za rambi rambi kwa familia na kwa marafiki. Shukran. Yeah. Kwa majina naitwa Samuel Molo, kocha. Na niko hapa kusaidia Bobby kwanza na hii nini ya Mark. Mark mazali kwa ni mchezaji wangu na nilisikitika sana kusikia ametuacha. Lakini ni aliye maisha. Ni ile tu bado naweza sema alikuwa bado ni kijana eh na bado alikuwa anahitajika kucheza mpira na ukiangalia kwanza wakati mimi nilimuona kwanza nilifurahi sana kwanza unajua we kama kocha unaangalia gamuli ya mchezaji na nilifurahishwa sana na mwili wa Mark manake kama defender yenye kwanza height alikuwa nayo alafu mwili alikuwa nayo alafu ni kijana alikuwa ugopi unapata kama ni tackles alikuwa anafika Alafu kitu pili ni fresha sana na Mark ni alikuwa kiongozi. Yaani alikuwa anapea na leadership sana pale uwanjani. Unapata defender lazima uko na ile leadership quality na unapata hizo attributes zote alikuwa nayo. So si kwa surprise kwanza kicheza team uh, Tasca ile team nilikuwa nachezea mimi mwenyewe. Maana kuna angalia Tasca waga hizo ndio vitu wao wanaangalia sana sana. Na wakati alikuwa anacheza ligi pia nikamfuatilia. Yeye alikuwa anacheza vizuri sana mpaka akaitwa timu ya taifa. Na naweza sema alikuwa tu ni complete player. Ile wewe kama coach unaweza taka mchezaji kama huyo. So naweza sema mazee tumepoteza mchezaji yenyewe. Itakuwa vigumu sana tupate mchezaji kama huyo. Alafu pia unapata nilikuwa game za wazee nimecheza naye. Ndio hakuwa mzee lakini nilicheza naye pale Toyoyo na unapata ni mtu alikuwa anasikia maneno sana pale uwanjani ukimwambia Mark fall ana fall Mark tackle ana tackle so ni kijana alikuwa anasikia sana mazi mambo ya watu especially wale watu wako senior kwake so imekuwa ni pigo kubwa sana si kwangu tu peke yangu lakini kwa familia yake na nafikiria kitu tunafanya hapa na Bob itakuwa inasaidia pale inaweza na wale wengine watakuwa wamesikia hii story yenyewe pia wakuja wasaidie maana football sisi ndio tutazikana hakuna mtu mwingine atatuzika so tukisikia story tukuje tusaidie pale inawezekana mm-hmm. okay kwa majina mimi najulikana kama Dixon Doyle eh, mimi ndio secretary wa FKF Nairobi East eh, kwa kisha tuna organize mpira katika grassroots na mwanzo kwanza ni kupatia familia pole ya Mac E, na the Botella family kwa sababu mimi nafikiria nimekuwa katika administration kwa muda na nimeweza ku manage hiyo football hata wakati Mark amekuwa amekuwa katika branch level kabla songe mbele so for me being here ni 
kukuwa in solidarity with the football family kama mtu mwenye ameza ku manage football eh, wakati maka amekuwa akicheza mpaka vinye amekuja kasonga katika hiyo level next so leo purposely nimekuja hapa kupeana ile moral support na ile financial support kidogo yenye tunaweza kuwa nayo kuona vinye tunaweza saidia familia waweze kupatia the late mark a decent send off kwa sababu ni mzigo mzito hatuwezi achilia and uh, apart from just playing and managing uh, football is a, is a big family so inatuleta inatuleta pamoja wakati kuna kuwa na furaha wakati kuna kuwa na uzuni tuna tuna move as a team and that's what uh, nimekuja hapa hivi kwa portray the same kama administrator Yeah, my name is Dr. Moses Muturi Murimi. Uh, but most popularly I'm known as Chachi. I have played uh, for Barclays. I've also played for Absa Waze and lately I represented uh, I came to play for Mbotela Kamaliza where I met Mark. And uh, from the word go we were able to gel together because Mark is a very disciplined was a very disciplined young man. He believed in uh, hard training and he was very committed uh, even in his day to day life and you know in football we are taught that when the commitment is there when someone is playing they are able to translate the same even into their private lives and this was mark for you he was a very disciplined young man always a leader in the field i mean taking roles my father um, are you taking roles that are ideally and a normal circumstance people will be shy to run away from he was very also easy to actually accept his mistakes whenever he made a blunder he will always come back and uh, apologize to the whole team and uh, commit himself that he will be able to uh, rectify in the next game and this was mark for you and so i want to uh, categorically state that we have really lost someone who had great potential uh, in life and even in his career even as a football player we'll miss him uh, today we are gathered here at uh, canon apollo grounds uh, basically to uh, celebrate his life while at the same time raising funds uh, in preparation for the wednesday fundraising and also finally to the laying of our beloved on saturday and so we are enjoying ourselves because we are celebrating a life that is well lived and uh, hopefully even from this venture uh the young people who have come here and old people who have come here uh will uh, be encouraged to actually stand as role models so that we can be able to raise a generation of young men who are disciplined so that we can take our families to the next level and above everything else to take Kenya to the next level so that is what i have to say thank you very much and god bless kwa majina kamili naitwa Evelyn Akinyi Odida mimi ni mkaji wa makongeni na ndikuwa footballer ama legend footballer nilianza na makongeni youth nikaenda minkas nikacheza international matches but miaka zimesonga sasa so ni legends so mark nilimjua kiwa mtoto mdogo through family moja kaloleni uh, the old wolf family hapo ndo nilimjua akiwa mtoto mdogo sasa so hapo ndo tulianza mazoeana na yeye alipoanza kucheza mpira akichezea tasca alikuwa ananitafuta kwa mawaidha na natuma rambi pole zangu kwa familia yao hiyo ndio njia ya kila mtu uh, kwa majina naitwa Veronica Chien uh, former player Makolanda na pia nimeweza kuchezea timu ya Kenya kutoka 1994 to 2006 Mark nimemjua kama mchezaji also kwa sababu pia mimi ni mchezaji na alikuwa anachezea Mathare United hapo ndo tulikutana na pia amekuwa dereva Umoina it's happened that pia na issue moja but natoka pia Mbotela Mbotela ndio home na tumekuja hapa angalau tujumuike na wenzetu tuweze kufundraise na pia ningependa tu kusema that um, uh, my condolences to the family na naomba Mwenyezi Mungu akaweza kuwajalia kwa chochote ambao wanahitaji na um, Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kulaza roho yake malipema peponi Oh, kwa majina naitwa Kelly Amateshe ama jina ya mtaa naitwa kama coach Mateshe. E, leo tumekama hapa ku ona story ya Mark. Yu Mark alikuwa mchezaji wetu akamaliza pia amecheza Mother United 
Alafu pia nimemjua kama alikuwa pia alumna yetu wa Maisa. E, tumefanya naye shughuli mingi za Maisa Mbotela Zoom. So nimemjua Mark for a long time na alikuwa mchezaji wetu mzuri. Mark naweza sema historia yake kidogo ni alikuwa mchezaji mhambol. Alipenda sana kucheza na watu wale wali, alikuwa na heshima na pia watu walimheshimu sana juu alikuwa mchezaji ana story mingi. So leo tumekuwa tu hapa tunajaribu kuchangisha tuone vile familia tutafanya mambo ya mazishi and then after hapo tunaachia god pia mambo yote. So ile kitu nimependa tu kwa wenzangu ni tujitokeze as you can see kuna games zinaendelea hapa na hizo games zote tumezipanga kwa sababu ya hii mazishi ya Mark. So mingi pia sina mingi za kuongea but ni kuweka tu familia kwa maombi vile watu wasafiri maka aweze kuzikuwa vizuri na after hapo kila kitu tutaacha kwa mkono wa Mungu. Yeah. Kwa majina ni Charles Omeo. E, nimekuwa na ishiri pambote kwa miaka kadhaa. Nimekuwa na maka kuanzia utotoni kwa zamekuwa kabro wangu mbigi. Yenda ametuingiza kwa industry ya ball. Amekuwa akitufundisha vitu poa na vitu mbaya wa kuishi na watu na kila kitu. Tunasikia sad sana kwa ame left sababu alikuwa brother figure na father figure bado kwa kila mtu kwa sababu alikuwa anajua kuishi na kila mtu. Tunasikia uzuni sana but siku ya leo tunajaribu kufanya kila kitu tunayoeleza mfikisha ompo ili kila kitu iwe sawa. Familia na uh, Mungu azidi kuwapatia ile courage wa kuwa strong kabisa kwa sababu kila kitu inakuwa na nini yake. Ni God amepanga leo kwa siku yake but kila kitu itakuwa sawa kila god atawa provide ya kila kitu um, min, kwa majina anaitwa Geoffrey Anzembe Lunyama uh, tumekuja kujumuika na matanga ya mwenzetu ambaye anaitwa Mark nilikuwa namuita Janyuka ni kijana hapa Mbotela na amechezea mpaka Harambe Stars na amekuwa mfano mzuri kwa sababu alianzia chini kabisa kuanzia Mbotela kamaliza kwa hivyo hapa Islands anajulikana kama mimi natoka Kaloleni na unaona nimekuja mpaka hapa e, na hiyo sasa unaona mchezo unaendelea imejumuisha karibu estes zote za Nairobi kwa hivyo juu ya discipline yake na heshima alikuwa nayo kwa watu e, tumeona tujumuike tumsindikize e, na anaweza sema na tuma rambi rambi kwa familia kwa wakati huu mgumu e, tuko pamoja Uh, wacha tusindikize mwenzetu na tuwe mfano watu wafuate mfano ya Mark bila alikuwa ya discipline hakuna kubishana kama ni mchezo ni kuelemishana asanteni sana kwa majina naitwa Oliver Mkonza ama Oliveti kwa jina ya mta uh, Mark amekuwa best yetu tumegrow naye hapa Mbote tumecheza naye bola hapa Mbote la Kamaliza na hii time ya msiba manzedi uh, imekam so unfortunate Ebe mchukua but tunasema yote tunachia god na siku ya leo tumekaa hapa tumekusanyika ni kwa ajili ya kuchanga tunataka at least to support family pia sibebe mzigo peke yao na tushikane pamoja asante uh, my name is Mary Brenda Keo uh, today we are here on behalf of the late Mark Odiambo i'm standing here with my friends we are here because of uh, we are friends to Mark sister and uh, tungetaka sana kusema pole sana kwa familia kwa kupoteza kijana wao hata sasa alikuwa rafiki alikuwa kama ndugu yetu ingawa ni dada yake alikuwa rafiki lakini kama ndugu yetu tungeza patana tungeza ongeza tupe encouragement 1 2 3 what to do in life and all stuff so right now tuna uchungu sana kumpoteza kijana mdogo and uh, what you can just say is uh, Mungu ndo anapeana na yeye ndo wakati wa kuchukua kwa sasa we can just say uh, may you soul rest in peace na pole sana kwa familia na marafiki wote. Tunashukuru sana. Ah, habari zenu, mimi naitwa Praxidi, supenda Fandisele. Tuko hapa Mbotela na tumekuja kwa sababu ya one of our player alifariki ali na tuko hapa kumchangia kidogo kidogo. Maana shida ziliumbia binadamu zote na tukipatwa na janga mpaka wote tushirikiane pamoja. Na Mark mimi nimemjua kwa muda sana mambo ya ball hata wakati wa covid mark tulikuwa tunapiga na yeye tizi sana pale ya boreta msana sana alikuwa ni kama motivation yangu nikiona mark anapiga tizi pia mi napiga tizi ile fitness alafu familia ya mark poleni sana Mungu awape nguvu kifo ikishachukua mtu wa ni ngumu sana mtu ku bounce back but Mungu awape nguvu 
Maka ametushtua sisi sote lakini mambo ya Mungu sisi ni kuwaombea tu lakini tutazidi kushirikiana kwa lolote lile. May his soul rest in peace. Okay, majina naitwa George Midenyo. Ah, uh, ni former, former player, a former coach wa Mark. Uh, very good defender kuna wakati nilimtoa out of retirement kamrudisha wazito. Uh, nilikuwa napenda sana fiziki yake na ni mtu nimezoea nimekuwa nikiwa kwa naye kwa gym. Ile time alivunjika akakuja karikava. Pole pole nikaona bado anaweza cheza. Kamrudisha na akatuprovia akatuprove right vitu vilienda poa. Nimepigwa na butua sana na naweza sema pole sana kwa familia. Ni pole sana kwa familia na najua pia amewacha wadogo nyuma, familia amewacha nyuma, wife watu hii. Najiita kuwa rais lakini aliyejua lali. Naambia pole tena poleni sana kwa kwa roho. Naitwa Ricky Onimbo. Uh, former player wa Zito. Uh, basically tuko hapa shughuli ya Mark. Uh, ni uchungu sana kupoteza mtuka huyo kuwa sati Kwa likuwa, likuwa role, ni role model kwa watu wengi So we are so sudden Na Mark ni mjua, ni mjua for so long Kwa nzi hapa kwa Mbotela So ni kapata opportunity ya kuchiza na ee eh, wazito Na likuwa mtu, mtu mfiti sana He was a leader Alikuwa na lead by example Because all, all round like Ata, ata kwa dress kwa kila kitu family Football wise so alikuwa motivator sana motivator 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 sana kwetu because amecheza kabla tuko nao wazito amecheza team mingi sana so alikuwa tu alikuwa tu inspire na vijana wengine pia so it's so sad na nataka tu ku, ku kuambia family yake pole kwa msiba uh, god uko nao tuta pray pamoja tuta work nao hii jani na vitu zitakuwa sawa kwa majina naitwa Mish Makeba fansugu wa ingwe eh leo tuko Mbotela kanono wa polo tuko na tournament ya Mark Odhiambo mwenye alituaga imekuwa uchungu sana uchungu sana amacha a big gap yenye so many people wamebaki na quest kwa majina najulikana kama Dennis Atuoli uh, Mark uh, is my school my schoolmate. He was my school father. Nikingia form 1 Mark alikuwa form 3. Mark amenilea St. Ignatius Mkumbo boys. Na ninafiki pia after shule tumekuja tumepambana naye huku nje. Tumekuja tumekutana kwa transport industry. Mtaani tunaka area moja. So he is a very close uh, friend of mine and uh, as a brother also eh uh, na furahia sana for hii activity ya leo juu kupeana attribute ya mwisho kwa mwenzetu at least tuonyeshe hiyo solidarity yenye tumekuwa naye akiwa na size venye ametuacha hi my name is sally uh, i'm a small cousin to mark i took him as my big brother he was a very nice guy and we'll really miss him to magi pole sana i hope god will be with you through the way and he'll lead you. Ni hayo tu. My name is Delight. I'm Mark's cousin. Um, we really miss him. We loved him. We treasured him. And uh, we'll always cherish the memories we created together. To Maggie and kids, we love you. We'll always be our family. May God lead and protect you and guide you. And um, talk up Amoja through the journey to the whole of our family. Pole sana. Mungu ata zidi kutu shikilia. To Mark's friends. We are together in this journey. Mark ame tutangulia tu. Ndiyo njia yotu sote. Hi, my name is Georgina. I'm Mark's cousin. And it's been a challenge since you went. It's not been easy because you just fell. But God is with us. And for Maggie, I'm praying for you. May the good Lord keep you, guide your kids. For Mom and Mary, may the good Lord and Daddy, may the good Lord also keep you and direct you through this tough time. 
God is always with you and always take heart because Mark is in a better place and we thank God for he is now resting and for everyone from the family to jipeni nguvu to side your mama Mary magina watoto ni hayo tu kwa sasa my name is divine mark speak up my name is divine mark and we miss uncle mark may he rest in peace may he rest in peace and we miss you Hi, my name is Tresha uh, and and Mark is my uncle and I loved him very much. May he rest in peace. Ah, uh, kwa mnyenge na mkongwe longane Christopher Dua, ajadu la matugone team arma kongeni wa Odichemo kawono wa biro mondo wa riure kanya kilagi team be mopogro pogre kwa temo konyo family mar Mark of the Amboja nyuka mosewewa. Monyocho ni ndo tomoko ngongo mo sana na family mare modo koro umyoka wono wa mabe kwa chok pesa moro matin mondo wa mi mi na tumakoro dong ni mondo konjara go ni kenjeti la police school koro wote mwana wacho ni jo media osiepe mayando ngai matu ko de pira kati marjo taska jo wa si otko yo gine mondi gibed pin bang ik mara mark mondi go gi familia at least ni tindo modongi gibed konyoro ko moro ngi na konjo gi ma kataka ponono ni mama nayo ngi ma ni tich mondo tim kane no hala umyo hala moro Gecha ngi otu mochu lobe nonya lokonya konya tumangwa nyalo chulo ne out. Omyo kaono doko yero kamano ne jo mochu pote. Timbe te mochu opo. Odoko nyero kamano maduong. Jo mida be mochu poko ono mobilo moso wa odoko nyero kamano maduong. Umedi kanya umedi reure to med mark reka mora chel. Gimana lo te kacho ni chuny mark kamani tie okue onid maler. Enyengi Yesu Kristo amina. Thank you.